Looks like a different event as we bring up the two surfers who are in the water at the moment. This is Fred Patashia's 11th year as a championship tour competitor. No waves locked in, but we've got a ride. Starting to stand up now on the inside, and Adriano D'Souza is going to swoop. Let's see what he can do. Big speed float, racing down the line, climbs up over that section, busts the fins, and draws that bottom turn out once again, just staying really close to the pocket of this wave. He loves to surf. So critical. Right in the hook of the wave, and uh, he's going to milk this one right through to the inside. A solid modern stance for Adriano D'Souza allows him to get those big explosive. See some surfers kind of more on the nose or more way on the tail. Like he's right in the middle of his board, and it enables him to really be firmly planted. Uh, it just never looks like he's going to fall. Just stay uh, all his uh, all his balance is centered, uh, so he just nails every move. And a, a big opening turn there to start this wave. That's really going to grab the judge's attention. Uh, this is going to be a great way for him to kind of build his confidence. And he's going to bag a score right away. Taking that one right through to the inside with just under 22 minutes remaining. Two of the most fiery competitors on the championship tour. Adriano D'Souza well out behind the rock. He caught the ski back out and he has found a little gem here and he is attacking this wall. Surfing with a lot of speed. There's some of that rail game that we were talking about earlier, Ross. And still, just powering. This wave really stuck to the bank well. We've seen a couple of surfers chance their luck on that wave Freddy's on gonna the outside, be... and uh, Adriano just found a gem. Freddie's got to be really irritated at that. I, that was a smoker. What a crafty decision there. He really got away with something here. You know, Maybe he was thinking, oh, I'll just grab a sneaky little five. I'm thinking this could even be uh, closer in the high sevens, maybe even an eight. We'll see what the judges do. Great cutbacks there. That, look at that section. Uh, so hard to deal with. You know, most average surfers in the world would have dug the biggest rail, and he just sliced through it like, like nothing. So In 2005, he finished 14th. A great accomplishment. Not an easy thing to do to re-qualify in your first season, but these guys had the skill, and D'Souza is up again. Throws down a little air reverse, just keeping busy on the inside. Still waiting for a big number to drop for his last ride with just under 17 minutes to go. Fred Patasha. He's uh, officially dropped anchor. You know, Freddie's out there being, being very patient, waiting for a bomb to hit the wide ball. And here's the replay off the tip of the rocks, on the way on the top of the point. Judges, you can see right there, they're watching this replay. There's only been one other ride, and it's from Adriano as well. So that's the scale, the 7.3. I think the judges just wanted to get another look at it. That wave. A long way from the judging tower. Put a couple of 7.33s on the board with his first two rides. He's up again, looking to increase his lead over Fred Patasha, who's yet to catch a wave. And Adriano just keeps connecting with nice little sections through the inside here. And he kicks on out. 14 minutes to go, so we're past the halfway mark. A score, a bonus, as we're going to see a replay of the last wave. This is on the inside, right underneath Freddy. Uh, Freddie let this wave go. I, you know, I personally don't think this is going to count. Uh, wave just a little too sleepy. Nice carves. Watch his upper body right there. It really torques it out. I like that. Uh, but nothing too exciting. You know, he had a couple of big moves. Uh, a little more vertical on those 7.3s. But just a display right here from Adriano. Just showing that not only does, is he great at blasting the fins out the back, but uh, he can slice it up. Adriano did so well last year. He had a, a string of quarterfinals. His best result was here on the Gold Coast. This was the wave that he caught on the outside. It was 7.33. Uh, just so much speed. He, he didn't even think about digging a rail once on that wave. And, and, you know, the second half of it was very tricky. But I think the judges really loved those opening moves. Finals. He is lethal, whether it's uh, flattening out on the high tide or whether it's steep and hugging the inside bank here at Snapper Rocks. Adriano's got the kind of surfing that just works so well with this wave, building a lot of speed on this ride and just absolutely attacking this small wave. Working through a little car there to finish that one off. He's looking to improve on a 7.33 to increase his lead over Fred, who has no choice. Adriano just surfed. It's unlikely he'll post a 7.33, and he'll also hand Adriano priority. So as you oh. said, 
dropping anchor might be the only option for Fred at this point. Well, I tell you what, he may have just bettered a 7.3. Really bonused, uh, got a bonus on that low road right there. Got a steep little angle on the inside, and he was able to click off a couple more pretty uh, spicy cutbacks there. And I just love how activated out there. He's still <laughs> waiting to stand up. Might be stuck in a, a rock or something because uh, he hasn't moved too much. Looking a little uninspired at the moment, but Adriano just keeping busy and just showing some of that small wave form that he has. Drives into the lip there. What a finish from Adriano, the man they call Minorino in his act. Have a look at the replay. Yeah, he's just, again, centered right in the middle of a surfboard. It doesn't even ever look like he's going to fall. It's almost a shock when he does uh, get off balance. This is a little more exciting right here, Ronnie. This turn clicks the tail out the back, but sort of a smaller wave. Nothing really uh, of a consequence on the outside, so I don't think this will breach the, the, his top two scores. Adriana D'Souza had been pleading with uh, Merrick to rod. He was on full display in those waves. He sure was. Had a quarterfinal finish there in Fiji, but here he goes now. Adriano D'Souza looking to improve on a 7.33 to increase his lead. Absolutely lighting up these smaller walls on the inside as Fred Patasio waits for something of substance to roll down the line. He's got priority. Adriano is not finished with this wave, though. And he likes that ride. Four minutes, 20 seconds to go. Do you think we'll see an increase? You know, really hoping to improve on that 7.3. He's got something to work with there. Here goes Fred Patasio now on his first wave of Heat 9, round three. Wow, what a shocker for Freddy. And he gets nothing out of that wave. Four minutes to go. He's got the head down. The arms just windmill into this ride. And there's so much foam on the face. And Freddie's super frustrated. He's bringing this one in with one minute to go. Not happy. Oh, uh-oh. Don't do it. Freddie Patasia. Just a little rail slide on the inside. The requirement even higher for Fred. So uh, Fred was left looking for a 14.77 total coming into the final stages. He only uh, managed a couple of throwaway scores, a 0.5 and a 0.63.